<laughs> both of these people are students at SBSCC, and both of them are trying to get to Mike Gray's film class at 6 p.m. on time. They have been late to class numerous times before, so much so, in fact, that Mike is threatening to drop them from his class if they're late again, because frankly, Mike just doesn't care anymore. And if you're wondering why they're getting up so late, I'm assuming it's due to poor choices made the night prior. The point is, both students need to make it to class on time. However, there is one obstacle standing in their way. Responsible parking. Jeez, I look, I, I know that sounds lame, but just bear with me, alright? Oh yeah, and whoever gets there first gets a cash prize of $50,000. I've sent out a camera crew to follow both as they compete with each other. And they're off. Who will win? Who will lose? Who will get $50,000 for responsible parking? That still does not sound any better. Let's first check in with student A. Kayla, let's see what her strategy is. Time to go now. So, from reviewing this footage, I've noticed one thing. Kayla is the person who makes Saturday night karaoke a miserable experience. No. Oh, I know. Why do they have a red light when it's turn light? I don't think Kayla really knew what she was talking about. How badly do you want this $50,000? You know how much stuff I could pay off with that? How much? How many things do you have to pay off? Stuff. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, that's frightening. So how much do you want this $50,000? Um, I would use it to pay off my mom's house loan. So I kind of want it really bad. Wow. Oh, you want it really bad, do you? Well, you don't seem that aggressive about it. Kayla, on the other hand. Can I go? Can I get no! Are, are you sure we have enough time to uh, go to Starbucks? There's always time for Starbucks. You know what? We have so much time for Starbucks that this line doesn't even matter. We can go to Starbucks. If I wanted to, I could pop over to- Kayla didn't stop talking for the entire wait in line. Now, let's check back in with Y, who has a very interesting strategy. Hey, look, there's the bus that I'm secretly planning to drive, right? Is that your plan? Yeah, my secret plan. Very interesting strategy, Why You're gonna drive halfway to SBSCC, then hop on public transportation and take it the rest of the way so you don't have to worry about parking. Very, very interesting. Kayla finally left Starbucks. Yes, I love this road. It's a back road, so you don't actually really have to pay attention to the speed limit at all. Cause, like, I don't know if that's how roads work. <laughs> cops never come back here. It's really, it's fine. God, have you ever been in a situation like that before? Mm -hmm. Um... So Ed Sheeran's actually like a really cool dude. Wow, way to dodge the question. Why and her cameraman are waiting in the pouring rain for their bus. Absolutely miserable. Meanwhile, while Y and her cameraman are waiting, Kayla has already made it to SBSCC. However, they've encountered a bit of a problem. There isn't any parking space. Yeah, I don't. Oh my god! Let's just hope they find somewhere to park. Meanwhile, Y and her cameraman have gotten on the bus, and the ride seems to be very smooth, relaxing, and calming. That is not the case for Kayla. I bet you there's gonna be parking right around the corner. Yeah, they didn't find any parking. I think it's at this moment where my cameraman began to fear for his life. Why and her cameraman finally pulled up to SBSCC a good five minutes before their class had to start. It looked like her plan paid off. Kayla, on the other hand, was still searching for parking, and my ever fearful cameraman was with her every step of the way. We're running really low on time. You know what? Shut the up, okay? I don't care. I don't. Ah! Go! You did. Ah! Haha, <laughs> that's why right there. Kind of funny, isn't it? Speaking of which, Y had finally made it to her class. She was right outside the building. Her and her cameraman were ecstatic. They couldn't wait for Y to receive $50,000. You, you've almost made it. You're, you're about to win $50,000. How does it feel? How does it feel to win $50,000? So but then, the unthinkable happened. Wait, Go open that door. <laughs> As I'm sure you can expect, Y was distraught. It turns out that Mike canceled their film class. Mike, you snake. In the meantime, Kayla still struggled to find a parking space. You know, we've already missed the six o'clock point, so. That can't be possible. Because if that's possible. Ah! 
what happened next was incredibly graphic. I threw up three times. Unfortunately for Y, even though she got to class on time, we couldn't give her that $50,000. That went to pay the medical bills for my cameraman. And there you have it. That's the competition. So what did we learn from this? Not a lot, to be completely honest. It seemed like a frivolous endeavor. We did learn one thing, though. If you park smart, you can get to class on time. And if you park dumb, like Kayla, you don't. So be smart, and park smarter.